Hello children, welcome to today's digital class. Today I am going to deal with class 8, unit 8, be reading, it's a poem, be thankful. Before going to poem, let us watch a short story. The apple of everyone's eye, who amongst the other students in class, was the smartest and brightest. During his summer vacations, his parents would take him abroad. But Akshay always looked unhappy and upset, finding faults in others and everyone around him. Because of which, his friends also stopped talking to him. One day, a new student came to his class, Shrey, who became friends with everyone. Shrey was a happy-go-lucky kid. He had no complaints and always found joy in the little things in life. One day, Shrey came and sat next to Akshay. Hello, I am Shrey and my father just got transferred here. What is your name? Hi, I am Akshay. Hello Akshay, what class is it now? It's mathematics and they may take a surprise test today. Oh no, I'm not good in mathematics. Akshay scored the highest marks in class, while Shrey could only score above average. Shrey wasn't very happy with his marks, but wasn't even as sad as Akshay was. You seem happy with just scoring average marks. Yes, and you seem to be sad even after scoring 98. Yeah, I could have got two more marks. <laughs> Look at me. In a few weeks' time, both kids became good friends. And Akshay started solving Shrey's maths problems too. He would try to understand the reason for Shrey's happiness. One day, when both of them were going back home, Shrey had a smile on his face. <laughs> Seeing this, Akshay asked him, I see that you are smiling most of the time. Why is that? I don't need a reason to be smiling. I try to find happiness in everything. Like how? Now look at this butterfly. Is not it so beautiful? Imagine how different their lives are. Yeah, it doesn't need to give any exams or even go to school. And we must head home now. It's getting late. They came across a beggar on the road and Shrey offered him his favorite biscuit. Now imagine, they do not have basic clothes to wear or a house or even food to eat. We still go to a good school, wear good clothes and our parents take us for vacations. What more can we wish for? Yeah, but every parent does that for their kids. As Shrey was dropping Akshay off at his home, a kid from the neighborhood made fun of Akshay. But Akshay became very angry seeing this. As Akshay was charging towards the kid, Shrey stopped him. Let me talk to him while you wait here. As Shrey started talking to the kid, Akshay cooled down and began noticing Shrey. The little kid from neighborhood came and apologized to Akshay. See, we can always teach a lesson without getting angry. Please don't mind, but I have often seen you getting angry at your own friends too or else getting very upset over class tests. We are not perfect, are we? I think you are right. A few days back, I shouted at Akhil before sitting on my seat. Friendship is more important than a seat, right? So, he apologized to all his friends. And this is how Shrey taught Akshay to be happy for the things we do have and worry less about the things we don't. Children, I hope you like the story. It's about the two friends Akshay and Shrey. Akshay got highest marks in the class 98 but Shrey got minimum marks. But the difference is, even though Akshay is having, having everything in his life, he always complains about it. But the Shrey was happy with every small thing in his life. Akshay was unhappy and Shrey was happy. What is the difference? What made Shrey happy and what made Akshay unhappy is Shrey was thankful for everything in his life, whatever he had. So he was happy. And Akshay has many complaints. So he was unhappy. 
So one should be thankful whatever is there in his life. So the same we will find in this poem. I will read the poem for you. Be thankful. Be thankful you don't already have everything you desire. If you did, what would there be to look forward to? Be thankful when you do not know something, for it gives you the opportunity to learn. Be thankful for the difficult times. During those times you grow. Be thankful for your limitations because they give you opportunities for your improvement. Be thankful for your mistakes. They will teach you valuable lessons. Be thankful when you are tired and weary because it means you have made a difference. It's easy to be thankful for the good things. A life of rich fulfillment comes to those who are also thankful for the setbacks. Find a way to be thankful for your troubles and they can become your blessings. Be thankful that you do not already have everything you desire. If you did, what would there be to look forward to? Here children, desire means a strong feeling of wanting something. Here you can look into the picture. There is a luxurious house with many cars. What a normal person dream about. A luxurious life. If, he, if his dream comes true, then what is left for him to live? So poet says, we should be thankful that we do not have everything we want in our life. Because if we have everything, whatever we dream or desire, then what is there to live for? So there will be no aim for us to live if we have everything in our life. Be thankful when you do not know something, for it gives you the opportunity to learn. So we must be thankful that we do not know something because it gives us opportunity to learn. If we know everything, then what is left there to be learned? So children, don't feel shame that you don't know certain things. Take it as an opportunity because it will give the opportunity to learn the things. So you should be thankful that you don't know the things. Be thankful for the difficult times. During those times you grow. Be thankful for your limitations because they give you opportunities for improvement. Children, limitations means restrictions. Children, always you should be thankful for your difficult times because in the difficult times, you will learn how to grow. The difficult time will make you learn how to grow. Here in this picture, you can see a man is trying to climb the mountain. In the next picture, he has climbed the mountain. So his difficulties have no more so you can overcome the difficulties so you should be always thankful for the difficulties children you have to be thankful for your limitations also because it will give you opportunities for your improvement as you can see in this picture dr cb raman has struggled a lot to discover the raman's effect with the limited equipments he had in the laboratory and uh, he has made a change he has brought the raman's effect so the limitations have made him improve limitations gave him opportunity
be thankful for each new challenge because it will build your strength and character be thankful for your mistakes they will teach valuable lessons children your challenge means difficult work or job children you should be thankful for each new challenge because it will build your strength and character here whenever we get any new difficulty we will be scared of it until unless you step into your difficulty how you will overcome it once you get into your difficulties you will come over it step by step and you will build your character and strength so challenges will help you to build your strength and character if you do not face challenges you would never know how to come over it so you should be thankful for each new challenge the more you face the challenges the more you build your strength and character so you should be thankful for your mistakes as well because the mistakes will make you perfect you learn from your mistakes until unless you do the mistakes how you will be able to learn the things perfectly so here you can see a cricketer i hope all of you know who is he was sachin tendulkar a great cricket player he has not become a great player within a day or a year it took long time for him he has learned from his mistakes the man will become perfect by his mistakes he will learn from his mistakes and he will never repeat that mistakes because he knows that that mistake will not help him to overcome the mistake with that mistake he will not become perfect so mistakes only teaches you to become a perfect so you learn from your mistakes so you should be thankful for your mistakes too be thankful when you are tired and weary because it means you have made a difference weary means extreme tiredness children you can see here a picture the hard work of a boy the hard work of a boy will turn into a good result when he grows young he has planted a small plant which grows into a tree which takes a time so his hard work has seen when he has become young so his hard work has shown the difference of plant into a tree we can take another example there a girl who is making a simple cloth into a beautiful dress which shows her hard work it gives a difference what is the difference a simple cloth has turned into a beautiful gown it's easy to be thankful for the good things a life of rich fulfillment comes to those who are also thankful for the setbacks setbacks means difficulties so children it is easy for everyone to be thankful for the good things happens in our life but the person who is thankful for his difficulties will be always successful and happy in his life so one should be always thankful for the difficulties challenges mistakes limitations and hard times which will make you happy and successful
here we can see a small story in the form of picture here a man who is moving in a simple car dreams about a big car a branded car and the next a uh, person who is moving on the bicycle is dreaming of a car and in the next picture a man who is standing near the post box is willing to have a bicycle and in the last you can see there is a man without legs sitting in the balcony and thinking of having legs because he could see on the road a man is walking and he is thinking that if he could walk on his legs so what do we think here what do you get children that one should be happy with the thing what he has then only he will be a successful in his life that is difficulties challenges mistakes limitations and hard times will make you successful and happy in your life so you should be happy in your life with the things whatever you have with you gratitude can turn a negative into a positive find a way to be thankful for your troubles and they can become your blessings children here gratitude means thankfulness so if you are thankful for everything whatever you have in your life then all the negative whatever you have will turn into positive so there is no magic to turn a negative into a positive the thing is you should be thankful for the situations what you have in your life automatically it will change the negative into positive the simple formula of become making a negative into positive is being thankful so find a way to be thankful for your troubles and they can become your blessings so children always one should be thankful for their troubles because that troubles makes us sad but if you are thankful for that troubles that troubles will change into blessings for your life when you start with the negative the obstacles will be many but if you be thankful for the obstacles or troubles i assure you you will reach your destination that is success and the gratitude can change a negative into a positive so there is no other formula there is no other sh- shortcut to change a negative into a positive except being thankful so i hope all of you must have understood the poem let us go with the assignment today's assignment in the poem be thankful the poet depicts different situations of life where we need to be thankful what are they so children i hope you understood the poem what are the different situations where we should be thankful what are they write down that okay next write the summary of the poem in your own words whatever you understood you write it in your own words i hope you enjoyed the class children thank you children stay home stay safe